Desert Rats is Desert Research and Technology Studies. It's a field campaign um, out at Black Point Lava Flow in Arizona. And basically they're testing technologies that could be used on a future manned mission to the moon, Mars, or possibly asteroids. One of the goals of Desert Rats this year is to simulate more uh, of, an, of an asteroid uh, expedition as opposed to the last year's focus was on more of a lunar expedition. The big pieces we have in the field this year again are the space exploration vehicles, one and two, and then also we have what we're calling this year the deep space habitat. So this is a large habitat where both the crew members would live but also we have an analytical lab there with some new instruments, uh, one of which is coming from Goddard this year, the Vapor instrument. Basically Vapor is just a miniature pyrolysis mass spectrometer instrument and it's designed to heat up samples to really high temperatures to release uh, gases, but also we're looking for resources. So water, uh, which can be broken down into hydrogen and oxygen, could be used for rocket fuel. Um, astronauts could potentially drink the water even, and so these are the, the resources that we're, we're looking for with vapor. So as a crew member, I'm just one small part of the overall science team, so I'm the part that's in the field doing the field work. But there's a much larger portion of the science team that works in a science backroom that this year will be housed at Houston as well as over in Europe. So the science team supports all the activities that we will be undertaking out in the field and they really help direct us on to what steps to take next and they have much more capability of looking at the data we've collected to help us do the best science we can while we're in the field. And one of the big things that the science backroom is dealing with this year is trying to understand communication time lags. If you're talking to the moon, it's only a one or two second lag between when you speak and when the astronauts hear you. But at a near-Earth asteroid, it, it might be a minute or two. So we're trying to understand the best way to go about that, try and test out things like using text messaging instead of voice communication. We'll also be testing XPED, which is Exploration Portable Electrostatic Device. And essentially what this is is a portable electric field sensor that we could either attach to a suit on a human or we can attach it to a rover and essentially monitors the local electric field. So just like you can collect static charge when you're walking around on a carpet, you could also potentially collect electric static uh, by walking around on the dusty lunar surface or an uh, asteroid. It's a charge hazard alert, so to let them know their charged state. They can decide, hey, I'm not going to go touch that board or touch that piece of equipment because it might get destroyed. And if you're out in space, you don't want to be without your equipment. Desert Rides is always exciting. It's, it's, it's really cool to get on the ground and actually test out these things. I'm very optimistic that we're going to have a good year this year with Vapor and excited to be part of this expedition. This is a great team to work with, a great group of engineers and scientists. It's really a source of pride to be involved in this field test.